Hello, and welcome back to the Ken Multipurpose Creative WordPress theme. This is video number three on logo and menus. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload your logo, create menus, create mega menus, and one page menus. So let's get started here. Where we left off before, we had made a cheesy little menu in the second video, and we're going to enhance upon that. But first thing we need to do is go to our dashboard and get ourselves a logo installed in here. So we're going to Theme Settings, General Settings, and on the General Settings page, we can upload all our graphics. I'm going to upload a few files here to uh, that I created, just a generic logo. Let me get to that folder. Alright, so I made a little fave icon, which is 32 by 32 square in Photoshop. We're going to open that, select that for our favorite icon, and now we'll upload our logo. I'm going to select them all at once here this time and get the rest of the four. Upload them all at once. You're going to have to upload at least four different versions of your logo. One light, one dark, and then also one light and one dark for retina which is basically your same graphic but double the size so our first graphic here is this logo right here I just named it your logo you can see that the dimensions are 276 by 50 50 is a good height for a logo in the can so we're gonna select that for just our regular logo now we're gonna upload the retina version of that logo which is your logo retina and we're going to pick the, lo the light version. The light version of the logo is made for whenever you have headers, which we'll get into in the next video, that uh, have light or dark skins to them. I'll explain all that in the headers video. But we'll do the two different versions here. Here's the retina version. And that should be it. Let's go ahead and save the changes here. And now when we do a refresh on the main screen, you should see it should replace the Ken logo with your logo. And it scales automatically with the sticky menu. Okay, so let's go back to our dashboard for the next thing we're going to do is go back to our appearance menus. If you remember the last video, we made this cheapo little menu here. I'm going to actually assign the primary navigation that comes with the demo data, which is essentially the same exact menu that we have in the demo online and we're gonna set this as our primary navigation so we have a full-blown menu here and when we hit refresh you should see it will replace it with the menu and this menu you can see has sub menus underneath it You can see there's a short codes menu here, but in reality, this is a mega menu. But on the import, it cannot determine whether it is a mega menu. So we're going to go down here to the section that says short codes, and we're just going to simply turn this into a mega menu and save it. And now you'll see when we hit refresh that the short codes menu is now. A four column mega menu. So now let's go back to our menu here and we're going to switch back to our cheapo little menu that I started working on here and we're going to just enhance upon that. Put that back to our primary navigation and save it. I'm just going to randomly slap a bunch of things in here and we're going to make a hodgepodge menu not even caring what's on it. I'm just randomly picking things here add it to the menu. So now we've got a menu. Now well, let's go ahead and add a couple more things on here. I don't know. Grab some more from page two. Alright, that's probably enough. We've already got our home button here, so let's add another parent menu item without a link. If you put a pound sign 
in the URL field that will make it so it's not clickable but it'll bring the menu out so we're gonna call this parent and we're gonna add it to the menu and down at the bottom we should have parent I'm gonna bring it all the way up to the top right underneath home and we're gonna throw some items below it as you can see I'm just dragging and dropping them in a little bit to where they have a little bit of a hierarchy and you can keep going a couple levels with these sub menus you can't do it with mega menu but we're gonna just say that you want to have underneath business steps you want to have these two items you can do it so let's go ahead and just save this and we'll refresh the screen here and you'll see it's gonna look ugly but there's our parent menu and we put some items underneath business steps and you can see how it just keeps branching out and you can even go deeper if you wanted to I wouldn't go too far it might get confusing now let's go and make a mega menu let's make a new link here and we're gonna put a pound sign in there because we don't want it clickable they're gonna call it mega menu add that to the menu so we'll bring that up our second item is gonna be the mega menu put that underneath all of these right there right there okay so to make a mega menu you need to have the columns laid out we're gonna set up a four column mega menu and just throw the rest of these items in here so we need to make again more blank URLs so I'm gonna put a pound sign in here and we're gonna call it column one and add it to the menu I'm gonna put that up here underneath our mega menu and I'm gonna add the other three real quick here pound sign call two add the menu pound sign call three and we'll do pound sign call four add the menu this is gonna show us now I'll show you how we add these items to it so underneath our mega menu we're gonna have column one two three and four and then you can take all the rest of these menu items assuming you wanted to put them underneath your mega menu and you just drag them underneath each column that you want them to go under I don't know if we have an even or odd number here but I'm just gonna th start throwing them under here till they're gone that's perfect all right so let's save this menu and when we refresh it it shouldn't be as ugly because we turned them all into a mega menu now we just got three things we got our home we got our parent and then our mega menu up oh, I didn't turn on mega menu but you can see how it laid out our four items here all we got to do is simply go back in here to our menu find mega menu and turn on mega menu and hit save and let's do another refresh and there's our mega menu four column layout now you might not want to have these column headings here at all to turn that off all you have to do is go into each one of your column heading names and if you put a dash sign in there in each one instead of any words for the navigation label you put a dash and when you save it that'll make it so it assumes you don't want column headings but those still are placeholders for each column so when we hit refresh
we have our Mega Menu with no columns. Now you can also put icons in any of these menus on any of the menu items. Let's do a couple icons. Let's just do one of these things in our Mega Menu here. If you click on the down arrow for any one of your menu items, you can see the option here to add an icon. It's very simple. You just got a list of all these icons and you can pick whatever one you want to go next to it. Scroll to the bottom, say use icon, and you'll see it's got a little jet there. I'm going to save the menu. And let's see if we can remember where I put it. It's in the mega menu somewhere. If we go to our mega menu, you'll see right there under Fakad, we've got the little jet icon. And you can put different icons in each individual menu item. All right, so we've covered uh, setting the menus, putting logos in, simple menus, setup, a mega menu. We got one last type of menu, and that's called the one pager. So let's do the one pager. Go back to our menus again. This time we're going to create a brand new menu, and we're going to call it one page. Create the menu. And if you notice, we've been assigned everything to our primary navigation so far. You have, you can make up to seven different menus with the can, and you can assign them to whatever page that you want to. And right now, I'm just going to call, I'm going to put this one page menu in seventh navigation and hit save. Okay, so let's open up a few things here. We're going to be working on this page hybrid in our theme, actually. So. I'm going to open up the hybrid page here, and this is the page that we're going to add the one page menu. This is a one page template here. So what I'm going to do first is open up our page hybrid from our demo data. Let's find hybrid. And open that up. And the way one page menus work is by jumping to section IDs. So if we look at how this is set up, I go to the very first row here, which is an edge slider row, and we see here we've got a row ID put in here, TK-1. All right, that is the clincher to add in the, f the menu setup that we're going to do. And if you go through this whole thing, you can find there's actually seven sections in here that it can jump to. For instance, I'll just pick another random one here. Um, see if it's got a TK in it. There we go. This one's TK3. And it'll go on throughout the whole file. You set these manually. If you want to make a one page, we'll find another one. And this one's going to be TK5. Now I've already made a cheat sheet for us here that's going to tell me everything I need to put in our menu and we're going to build this menu. This is the hybrid on the online demo and right here is our demo version right here and we're going to put that menu in our demo version but I've already copied these items here of what we're going to need. So let's go back to our appearance menus here which we're at and we're gonna build this one page alright to do that all we gotta do is create more dummy links alright but instead of putting in just the hashtag or the pound sign by itself we're gonna put this section ID in here so for the first one you're gonna see I'm gonna put in TK1 and we're gonna call it home add it to the menu. I'm going to do another one. This is going to be TK2 and you can see I'm just on the left there. I'm going to call this intro. Go down the whole list here. TK3 services. TK4 showcase. K5 work TK6 team and our last one 
TK7, and that's contact. All right, so we've already signed us the seventh navigation. I'm going to save this, and we got to go back to our page, and we need to change the menu. Currently, this demo version is using what's called a secondary header, and that's where we're going to change the, the menu. Once we get into the headers, you're going to learn a lot more, but right now, let's just, I'm going to pick specifically seventh navigation, which is the one page menu that we just made, and I'm going to save that for our demo data here, and now you can see the menu we have is nothing right now. I'm going to hit refresh, and it should automatically load up our one page menu we just created. So if I scroll down, you can see there's the menu. I'm going to hit intro. There's intro, services. And these are all based on those section IDs and the menu we just made. And that's how you would make a one page menu for a one page website. It's pretty simple once you understand how to do it. Now rather than doing what we just did, you could have easily, with the demo data, assigned the menu to that page. I just happen to know that menu number four in here, if we switch to this right here, fourth navigation, is the exact same redundant thing that we just created. So I can assign this to fourth navigation with our dummy data and hit save menu. And we can go back to our secondary header here and just set it to fourth navigation, hit save, update, and you'll see it's going to be redundantly the same thing, but we could have easily just switched it to this with the demo data, but I wanted to show you how to build the one page. So now we have completed all of our logos and menus tutorial. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Check out our next video on headers.